Welcome to Atlanta, jacking hammers and bows. Back to the mackin' and jacking the clothes. Adolescents packing the foes. A knock on the door. Who is it? I would happen to know the one with the flow. Who did it? It was me, I suppose. JD in the rolls and looters in the cut supreme. Skating down. All right, consistent basis. Justin Harris, I'm here with Swavatar Jack. One and only. What's good? Man, how you do? How, how you been, brother? I'm blessed, man. Yeah. Staying active. How about yeah. yourself? Man, I'm all right. I'm trying to stay active. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad I oh, you finally... Working. You working. We see you. Yeah, appreciate it. Working, appreciate that, man. Appreciate that. So, like I asked everyone, what made you get into battle rap? Uh, exactly. For one, for one I'm, I come from New York City, so growing up in my neighborhood, that's all we did was, was battle rap. That's how we uh, sharpen our swords and shit. So mm -hmm. everybody I grew up with in my neighborhood, my block, in my, in my building, they all rap. And, you know, it made me, it motivated me to want to fucking get out there and try to compete with them, you feel me? Mm -hmm. So growing up, it was a growing up thing in school, in the hallways, back blocks and shit. Yeah. And once I moved to Atlanta, I just, you know, I didn't even know it was a culture here. And once I got here and I figured it was a, it was a battle rap culture here, I just jumped right on it, you feel me? Yeah, all right. So what was your first, your matter of fact, your first battle, not battle in Atlanta, just your first battle ever? My first battle was against one of my one of my best friends back in New York. His name is Trav. Mm. Um, we grew up together. He was a little older than I was. His pen was way more advanced than mine. It killed me, you know what I'm saying? But it was definitely <laughs> a, a learning lesson. And from that point on, you know, it made me want to just go out there and give it my all every time I, I step foot in the ring or whether it be a fucking corner battle, you know what I'm saying? Mm. A corner in front of the store. Like, yeah. I always wanted to bring... Bring that 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 hundred percent every time. Shouts out to Trav too. Trav. Shout out, shout out. Mm -hmm. And so, has it ever been a battle to where you were like, like nothing, nothing was hidden and everything was going over heads, and you just felt helpless, like. Talk about my end, like on your end, just on your end. Should I get that a lot, man? A lot of, I feel like a lot of my bars are uh, over these niggas' heads, but recently, you know, I think they starting to catch up with my flow because mm -hmm. a little. It's a little uh, unorthodox compared to what's out there, you know what I'm saying? At least yeah. I, in my opinion. But, um, yeah, hell yeah. Numerous of times, I go out there and be like, damn, ain't shit hitting. But yeah. when, the, when the footage drop, uh -huh. it's, a dis it's a different story, you feel me? Because people can actually sit down, smoke the weed, or yeah. relax in the comfort of their own home and really listen to the bars. So, you know, it'd it, it be like that in the building sometimes. But when that footage drop, I'm over footage battle, you know, yeah. what they say anyway, shit. I lock you in a room full of mosquitoes infected with the Zika and I'm my brother's keeper, nigga. Yes, I am. Yo, yes, I am. Yes, I am. My best right man. I hit you with the check like blam. But what's your sex type? Use a transvet type fan. I check the broads. So how? starting to hit the building now. Nowadays, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> They're paying attention more and more. So. so how's that feeling, though? Like, knowing, like, you're not getting, you're not really getting reaction. Do you, is that, is that, trouble you somewhat or you just keep going keep rapping at first it did mm -hmm. you know as a as a rookie battler it did but you know as i as i went you know as i kept going i did battling and shit i realized you know what that footage will drop and when it do drop you know people will see the battle different you know if they say i lost in the building mm -hmm. so nah nowadays it don't bother me no more so what was your worst battle my worst battle the worst battle like someone's like fucking miami auto war mm -hmm. i went out there and i wouldn't say that he beat me i said i I lost that battle, you feel me? Because I didn't bring my all. I wasn't mm. prepared. So I beat myself, you know what I mean? So I, I can say casino. Shouts out to casino. Mm. You know what I mean? Well, but other than that, I feel like I gave my all in pretty much all my battles besides that one. You besides know? that one. You know what I mean? And then that was a learning experience for me, too. Because I was getting too comfortable with the crab, getting, you know, started feeling myself a little bit. Ah, uh, so, you, so, you, so you, in retrospect, you needed that, right? Yeah, I needed that. You needed that. Been to, to really, it was a wake-up call. And ever since then, I've been on a, you know, on a spree. Yeah, I want to talk to you about the, the Phoenix battle. Okay. Okay. Fake personals. <laughs> but how much of... How much of the, the, the fake personals, how much does that play, play a role in battle rap? You know, like... Like... There was a lot of people that gave him the win. Mm -hmm. I kind of gave him the win, but then after looking it back, it's like, you know, he wasn't really... If you take out all the fake personal stuff, there was not really much to go on. Right. So, how you feel about the fake personal stuff? Does that affect you in any way? Me personally, I don't. I don't agree with it. I don't use them. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I feel like if I'm gonna use a personal, it's gonna be some real fact. Yeah. Um. 
they work nowadays, you know. As you can see, the crowd was going fucking crazy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I see a lot of ballads are using the fake personal, like even if they're real personal, they're bringing them up more and more, using them as angles to win and shit. And to me, I don't, you know, I feel like me, I'm going in there with great lyrics. I might have personal here and there, but for the most part, it's who got the best lyrics and can you out bar me? You know what I mean? If you're mm -hmm. talking about a whole other person that's not even in the building, yeah. the whole battle, you know what I'm saying? I just, I don't know, you know, that's why battle rap is, is, is funny, it's an opinionate, opinionated sport, you feel me? It's mm -hmm. so all opinions, man, some people like the personal, some people don't, you know, I got a lot of people giving me the win over just spitting straight bars, you know yes. what I'm saying? It's, so, you know, I can't really, I, I try not to get caught up in the win-lose thing no more, you know, it is no. what it is, as long as I go out there and put on a performance, mm -hmm. it is what it is, I'm gonna get the people entertainment, and that's what it's about. The fake personal, niggas can keep using that shit and see how far it get them. Mm -hmm. That shit really don't work with a nigga like me, cause I'ma come and I'ma bring my all every time. And if you you having, if that's the only way you could beat me, then you need to get this shit up. <laughs> that shit ain't gonna last. So today, long, you, feel me? you got a sniper. Sniper. Yep. Yeah. He's been sitting. Yep. And you have a lot of battles coming up. Correct. Uh. So you think is that gonna play an advantage in the battle? Cause he's been sitting. You have a lot on your plate, or. Um, no. It might. You know, I, mean, I know when I went to sit up for a minute, but I didn't battle for a minute. I had bars below, you know what I'm saying? Yes. So it, it, it definitely might pl play in his favor. It, 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 might, it might hinder him too because sometimes when you're not active, you be a little rusty. You know mm. what I'm saying? You know, you get out there on the court, you know, you ain't been on the court in six, seven months. You got there, you, you're turning the ball over, you know what I'm saying? You ain't, <laughs> your, your stamina ain't up. So, it could, you know, it could, it could be like a gift and a curse. But for me, I don't, I'm gonna come out and do what I do, man. Yeah. I'm active. I'm out here in the field, and that's gonna to me that's gonna play in my favor more because I'm, I'm more active. Mm. You know what I mean? And regardless of the battles, the tough battles I got coming up, I shown consistency throughout my 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 whole time being back. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna see. All I can say, I'm tired of talking. We're gonna see today. <laughs> today is the day we're gonna see. All right, I'm gonna ask you one more question about the battle, and I'll leave it alone. That's cool. Is there anything Sniper can do better than you? No. No. At all. No. Nothing. Not at all. <laughs> I'm seasoned, man. I ain't seasoned enough, you heard? I let the work speak for itself. I let mm. my work ethic speak for itself. I don't get caught up in the politics. I try not to uh, let the bullshit, uh, the negativity, you know, yeah. get me off my, my, my focus, you know what I'm saying? Because I had I some tough battles coming up. And for my past performances, I've been working. So, at the end of the day, that work ethic is going to work yeah. in my favor, man. I don't know what sniper we're talking about. We're going to see. Let's hope he bring it. Let's, let's just hope we put on a motherfucking classic. He can't afford not one stumble, not mm. one choke, not one nothing, not one error, any little error of fuck him up. And vice versa. It's going to be a fucking classic battle if we both, if he bring what he's supposed to bring to the table. Because I'm coming to bring, you know what I'm saying? I'm bringing that pain tonight. Mm. Real talk. Is there any matchups on this card that you're looking forward to? Oh, yeah, man. Um... I want to see what PDP going to do. I know his op um, couldn't make it or whatnot. And he going against uh, Benz, J. Benz. I want to see what that be about. I want to see, um, we got KDA and, and J2, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be a goodie. That's going to be a goodie, man. Um, two up-and-comers. They doing their numbers and shit, doing their things. So, mm. um, it's, it's more, I get, I feed off the motivation from the other battlers. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So I, I'll sit back, watch, zone out, and then by the time, my time to go up, you know, I didn't, I didn't absorb all this energy. Now yeah. it's time to go to work. So pretty much everybody on the card, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I so like Wartown as a whole, man. Uh, shouts out to Clone. Thank you, Clone, for putting me on the card. Mm -hmm. um, I see what you're doing down here, man. It's, it's oh, yes, right, right. Rookies versus Vets. Yeah, I hear Oh, yeah. Go, hey, go ahead. Rookies versus Vets? Yeah. Uh, first, I want to ask, are there any rookies that impress you? Oh, man. KDA's dope. KDA, uh, I like J2, J2 coming up, mm. um, Static, that, mm. Static my, my, my young boy, I fuck with Static hard, and shit, um, mm. there's a couple other guys, but those are the main three, main three, yeah, so would you battle any of them, would you give anybody, any one of them a shot, hell yeah, I would battle, I, I don't mind battling um, rookies, you know what I'm saying, I battle personal, you know what I'm saying, yeah, that yeah, he said, yeah. Never come out with shit, but yeah, he said you smoked them, yeah, uh. exactly, so, so that just goes to show, I don't, I don't mind, I like giving a nigga a shot, yeah. Niggas gave me shots and shit, so mm. hell yeah. It's only gonna make it pin better. You True. feel me? So yeah, I will give him a shot. 
Yeah. So the other right. battles that right. you got coming up, you got uh, Roller on a bullpen. Yep. Next weekend, correct? Correct. correct. Okay, and you got Trez. So yep. which one of those battles are you really, are you fo are you focusing both of them the same way or are you coming different for one than the other? I mean, I got to battle every op different, but everybody has a different personality, different style, different cadence, so I got to make sure I come different. You know, so far as focus, which one, you already know Chef Trez. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you already know I got to put a lot of effort into that, not taking it, nothing away from Roller. Yeah. Status-wise, you know what I'm saying? Mm. So, um, I gotta get Roller out the way first, you feel me? Once I get him out the way, all my focus is going Chef. You feel me? So it's one it's one one op at a time with me. And that's 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 the thing, that's the difference. That's niggas don't see the prep is different. You understand? Mm -hmm. Like Sniper was just focusing on me tonight. But I you got two other motherfuckers I gotta be worrying about. You understand? So the, my, the, the thought process is way different. Mm. You understand? And all for that alone well, I won't. <laughs> I'm definitely looking forward to, to both the battle, Roller and Chef, man. It's going to be epic for, for my career as well as the yes. city of Atlanta and, and the culture. Mm -hmm. The way it's growing in the, in the city, man, it's going to be a big deal, you feel me? So, do you have any battle rap goals? Hmm. Matter of fact, matter of fact, for, before that question, uh, after the Trez battle, is there anybody else that you would love to battle? Like, right there, do you have anything locked in? After, nah, after the trace? Not, not as of right now. I don't have nothing locked in. Um, I don't know. I got a couple. I got some, 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 some um ballads on my hit list or whatnot. Um, that list could go on for, for a long time. Yeah, you know? I got. So I just wait. You know what I'm saying? I just wait and see how the universe plays everything out. Mm -hmm. At the at the chef Trez, you know what I mean? Um, the plate should should start getting a little bigger. You know? What yeah. I mean? But that don't mean I'm not gonna come back and battle. You know, the up-and-comers and still the niggas that's out here in the field, you feel me? Because I respect the craft as a whole. And I would never get to that point where I'm too Hollywood and I won't come back to the hood. I won't come back to the smaller leagues. Yeah. And fuck, and fuck with the people that's in the field, you know what I'm saying? Because this is where I started from. Yeah, so we, we tend to see that a lot in battle rap right, where battlers from the home leagues don't really show love. Right. Nah, I don't um, like that. I don't respect that, man. I, I feel like you're supposed to show love, especially when you get to a certain point in your career where they trying to get to. You yes. know what I mean? You can get a motivation, inspiration. And they'll feed off your energy. You never know. You might change a motherfucker's whole thought process or how he want to do things. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I would never get to that point. So that's why I, I, I stay humble, stay grounded, and I come and do work. That, that's the that's me. That's me. Swavitar Jack. If you look at my career, besides uh, all the bullshit that goes on outside of the ring, the politics. Yeah. You know what I mean? Shit that ain't got nothing to do with what goes on in the ring. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that bullshit. The only thing that matters is, is what I bring to the table, mm. entertainment wise, and, and I've been staying consistent with that, so, yep. at the end of the day, you know, here's, uh, it's another battle tonight, we're going to put on, appreciate you for giving me this motherfucking interview, because it's been long overdue, you know what I'm saying, yeah, I man. on that list, my nigga, because I see you are working up your catalog, I'm like, oh hell no, I got to give me one, <laughs> so hopefully, gonna... hopefully I have my, my questions uh, with me the, uh, next time, I was kind of rushing, <laughs> Well, I appreciate your time, man. Oh, wait, wait. Battle route goals. I forgot. Battle route goals. Oh, yeah. What was that one goal, that one thing that you haven't done in your career yet that you're pushing for? I want to I wanna be responsible for the, for the new wave of, 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 of battle, battle rappers coming up for the, new, for the new wave and the new culture and the mm. new years to come and shit like that. I want to be at least one of the guys responsible for helping these young, the youth get on that stage and get their bars correct. And that mm. don't mean writing for them. That just give them motivation, showing them the ropes a little bit. So I might want to start my own little spawn type class session or something like that. Okay. Have my own venue where it's like a lyricist lounge type thing. You know what I'm saying? Ah, that, yeah. That'd be one of my, my main goals and shit. Eventually I'll get there once I keep building my name up. You know what I mean? All right. Well, I appreciate your time, brother. I appreciate you. Yeah, man. So you know, I don't really do too many interviews, so you got a really you got exclusive. Oh shit! Oh, I'm I'm <laughs> make sure I edit this uh, ASAP. As soon as I get back to the crib. That's a fact. This is exclusive. You're gonna be hyped. You're gonna be hyped. This nigga doing interviews and shit. But I appreciate you, my nigga. Um, anytime you want to do some more shit, let's link up, man. Cause I need more of these. You feel me? All right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Appreciate your time, Swavitar Jack. Signing off. Consistent basis. Thank you, man.